Today we're going to be installing a cobalt uh, radiator panel, I guess. And um, yeah, this was about, uh, it was like 80 bucks, um, I think. I'll double check. It's just a center section. The main reason you want to do this is because um, whenever air goes through where the radiator is, you know, through the bumper, um, if you don't have it sealed correctly, air can escape around it and not always go through it. So it just improves efficiency of your cooling system. And what I noticed the last track day, I was just running very high oil temps. So I'm hoping that um, this in conjunction with the hood vent will help with the temps underneath. While the temps have been fine, I didn't hit any peak alarms or anything. Um, but I was just, just trying to see before I invest in a whole oil cooler setup, um, I'm gonna be seeing if a hood vent and this panel will help. So here she is pretty much in place. It comes uh, brushed aluminum or black. I decided to go with the brushed aluminum and it's got a cover for the top side to protect it so when you're done. But yeah, basically if you see that hood latch style here, that pretty much is how you set it in. It just goes, I believe underneath these, I'll double check. And it does come with hardware, everything you need to secure this whole thing. I think the only modification you might have to do is I did read that they may require to shave these down a little bit just because of the fitment, it's a little thick, you know, kind of bring everything up. So you may, we'll see. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's get started. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off these radiator brackets here. I think they're like 14s. Um, and then the first inner headlight bolt here. And I think these are tens. Forgot one more thing. You got to take off this, uh, this side as well, right here. All right, so uh, like I said, crack this open, grab the spacers. We got two spacers. We got two for here and then two for here. But before I do that, I just wanna clean the area real quick. Uh, Cause it is gonna be covered, but I just like not have to worry about, you know, anything that's dirty. So just a quick wipe. Um, just because, you know, I, never, I don't regularly clean this area anyway. <laughs> so quick wipe, and then we'll go ahead and put those spacers on. Now the thing is, we just gotta make sure we keep it aligned the best we can. I mean, there's some wiggle room, so that'll be all right. But yeah, let's go ahead and place the panel here in place and just make sure all the holes align. Looks like it. And then all we gotta do is just start lining those. I believe it's probably a four mil uh, wrench, wrench, Allen wrench, Allen wrench, yeah. Yep, four mil. Cool. And then before I fully torque it down, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this plastic shield thing. That's it. Go ahead and torque these down. They say, they say torque final torque. I'm just gonna I'm gonna ugga dugga them. It's really not a crucial component, so we're good to go here. Cool. Now we just put the radiator brackets back in place here. Okay. Oh, there's that. Got that. We got the nuts they provide. Have to play with it a little bit. All right, and then we just tighten these down. I think actually they're uh, they might be 12s. Hold on. Oh. Of course, they're 13s. They're 13s. Yep, freaking great American sizes. But all right, that's fine. Okay, and yeah, like I said, I mean, if I find torque specs, I'll put them down. But it's really not crucial. You know, I'm, I'm worried about torque specs on anything engine related, wheel bearing. That's important. Yeah, I guess you don't want to torque them down too much, but it kind of just stops right there. So, 
cool. All right, that should be good. And then all we gotta worry about are these rubber grommets. See if she closes just before we start cutting. Oh, yeah. It's a little tight, but I mean, not bad. Let's make sure. Yeah, it's not like, it doesn't really have any tension, so it's good to go here. Sweet, cool. But yeah, anyways, I guess that's it. That was literally the easiest install I've done probably. Um, the license plate bracket even took longer than that, so cool. But yeah, tighten those down, everything fit properly. And these, I guess, are squishy enough to where you don't really have to worry about it. So you'll probably end up finding marks somewhere. I'm gonna guess it probably goes down here somewhere. But yeah, fit and finish looks good. Everything's tight. The only thing I, I do kind of wish, I wish it went a little bit further. Not that I, I don't really know if it matters too much, if that much of a gap does much. But the good thing is all the holes are kind of covered and the air underneath, wherever it goes down there, help go straight through and not above. So it's a little bit more closed, I guess. Yeah. And then obviously all these panels are closed up. Yeah, um, I guess that's it. Next thing to do is just cut the hood and I'll be doing that um, at some point soon and see how she does on the track temp wise. But yeah, I get about four or five hard laps in and the alarms start going at 260 degrees oil temp. So I'm probably gonna need a little cooler eventually, but for now, let's just see what heat extraction and flow does. Um, but yeah, like I said, overall, really like this. It's not too bad. I mean, 80, 90 bucks, it's, it's pretty simple. And just a little bit, you know, one, one more thing you can do to help with the airflow stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, I will report to you back for attempts.